Hello Stampers! My name is Linda Bedinger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Denver, Colorado. I'm so glad you could join me this afternoon. Um, today I have a card for you from the new Ornate Garden Suite. This is the suite of products that's been pre-released from the upcoming 2020-21 annual catalog. And it's floral design and it's um, got some interesting colors in it. And uh, let's just get started. Okay, here is my card. And uh, I'm going to make it in the same colors, in the same basic structure. But I've changed a little bit of the dimension as I made this. I um, decided that I'd like to have some of the pieces um, a different size, for instance. This piece, I think, should be a little bit bigger. And I like the torn look on this. And this paper, and let me bring in the paper for you, um, is really um, very pretty paper. It's foiled on one side, many of the pieces. And this is the piece of paper that I'm using. And it has this floral design on it and this green pattern on the back. And these colors are fairly muted. Now the colors that are included on this are Mint Macaron, uh, Early Espresso, Old Olive, Terracotta Tile, Whisper White, and something called Bumblebee. So I am certain that one of these colors will be uh, one of these yellows will be Bumblebee, and it'll be one of the new in colors coming in. And so these are the papers. They're, uh, and this just screamed vintage to me, or, uh, or shabby chic. And so that's what I tried to do with this card. Now, this is a foiled pattern paper that looks to be basically similar to this design of this paper, but foiled uh, on vanilla, I think, with gold. And uh, so there's all different kinds and sizes of flowers here, and um, very pretty. Now this one is a yellow, and but more of a mustard yellow, and a white daisy, and it's got this I guess flirty, I think it was, was it flirty flamingo? Terracotta tile. Terracotta tile uh, pattern on the back side of this one. Then there's this, isn't that sweet? But it does remind me of um, <laughs> chintz cartons in my grandmother's house. <laughs> and the back side of that is this beautiful old olive paper with gold. Um, uh, gold foiling and that is absolutely gorgeous. So there's those two papers. Then there's this yellow with the terracotta tile and that is what's on the back side of this gold pattern. Then there's a whole bunch of smaller flowers here uh, in the terracotta tile, uh, sort of light, light and dark, and then this mint macaron with the with the gold foiling on it. Isn't that gorgeous? So there's some really pretty uh, foil papers in here. Then this one is similar to that first pattern but in just golds and yellows and white and that's got a very small pattern of this gold foiling on the back. So that is the papers. And these sides remind me sort of old timey kind of patterns. And this side is really very modern looking with its gold foiling. So it's a very interesting combination of papers. So what you need to make this one is I used a piece of Whisper White 8.5 by 5.5 scored and folded at 4 and a quarter. Then in order to put my front together, I have a piece of, and I used soft suede rather than early espresso. The early espresso seemed really kind of dark to me, and this, I think, matched the 
like the centers of the flowers pretty well. And this piece is three and a quarter by five and a half. Then this piece of the pattern paper is five and a half by three, two and seven eighths. <laughs> then for the inside, I have this piece that is four by five and a quarter. This piece of very vanilla that is five, let's see, five by three and three quarters. Then I have two strips. Uh, this piece of uh, soft suede is three eighths of an inch. And I just cut whatever length of scrap I had. And we're going to make our sentiment. And I'll give you an idea. This is what punches out of our everyday label punch, which is this one, but I needed one that was longer, so I'll show you how to make that longer. Um, and this measured, when I punched it out, three-eighths of an inch. So I cut a three-eighths of an inch strip longer, and then to back it, this is a one-half inch strip of the very vanilla that this will be matted on and um, give us this kind of a look. All right, then I have this terracotta tile piece and I cut this piece uh, three inches by five and a half and I run it through my die cut machine. Now, let me show you the die sets that come with this suite. There's a couple of different ones. It is a two bundle sweet. So this is the ornate borders dies and there are the borders. Aren't they pretty? So you can get this kind of an edge on the end of your card in this floral pattern, in this floral pattern, or cut these kinds of edges on it. And this little piece goes on the end of this to give you um, uh, that cut piece. And um, it's very, very pretty. Then there's some flowers in here, and again, these couple of border dies. So that is the ornate border dies. Then the other die set that comes with one, in one of the bundles is this one. And this one is called the ornate layers dies. And this one cuts out just simple little scallop and circles around the edge. And then you have some that are more ornate than these pieces in the middle. This, this one right here is just a stitched rectangle. This one in the middle cuts the holes out of the paper. So if I were to cut that in here, it wouldn't actually cut anything away except this pattern, and then you'd be able to see through it. And then there is a larger frame a very ornate frame, a small ornate frame, and then another one of these that cuts out this pattern in the center of the paper. So those are the dies that go with this. Let me show you the stamp sets. And this is the stamp set that I'm using today. It's called Ornate Style Stamp Set. And in this stamp set, there's this big, beautiful flower, and I didn't show you the inside here. That's what I used on the inside of my card. I just stamped that in the soft suede to pick up the pattern of the daisies here from the outside. Um, and then it's got a cluster of flowers, a single daisy, uh, an edge, a little flower with two leaves, and then this um, interesting kind of swirly pattern. Now, the other stamp set that is a part of a bundle here is this one called Ornate Thanks. And it says, thank you, so grateful, and thanks. And then it says, why, uh, my friend, seriously, ever so much, from the bottom of my heart, I'm, so you could do, I'm so grateful. Um, you could do thanks uh, ever so much. There's all kinds of ways to put these combinations together. From the bottom of my heart, I wasn't sure how to. Uh, you could say, say thanks um, for everything. Uh, let's see, just wanted to say, your kindness is so loved. You made my day, and that's the one I'm using here. 
Uh, so here's a card for all your help. You're amazing from all of us for all you do. And that's just, just all kinds of sentiments on there that will be useful. Also in the set comes this embossing folder. Let me see, if, maybe if I put this behind it, you could see it a little bit better. That is an embossing folder that does a pattern of these little flowers all over the page. It would make a very interesting background. That's another one that I might be able to do something with in the Shabby Chic. We'll see what, what, what I can do with that one as we move along. The set also comes with two uh, rolls of ribbon. This one is an old olive ribbon. It's going to be great fun to have a real old olive ribbon for a change. Um, and then this one is a terracotta tile ribbon. So very pretty ribbon. And um, so let's just get started and, and do this. Now, let's start with the die here. I just, I left this on so you could see exactly what I was doing. I have one of these die brush assemblies here. I'm going to peel my tape off of here carefully. And oh gosh, it tore a little bit. Well, we'll have to ha have that do. And then I used my die brush along the item that I cut out here, then I can pull this away and you can see then that when this comes apart, this is the piece that I have running right along here on the edge. And look at these little cutouts here that you get as the result of um, sort of the positive space there, leaving behind the negative space. So what I did was on the inside of my card, I could see saving a bunch of these and, and putting them together on a card. Um, uh, but on the inside of this one, just to bring that one color inside, because I don't have any of that color inside, I used this cutout to go right on the inside on my ribbon. So, uh, uh, and I, so we want to save these and I'm going to save all of them because I suspect that I'll be able to come up with a design that has all of them in there. So now what I'm left with, this is cut away, and I am left with this piece that is the piece that's going to go on my card right here, and a lot of this is going to be hidden behind, and so we'll see what we can do about this. I'm going to try my sand eraser and see if I can get rid of some of that. Yeah, I think that's going to work. Just take away some of that paper and smooth that out a little bit with my sand eraser, and I think that's going to be fine. All right, so on my card base, what I started to do was take my piece, and you'll notice that this piece is quite a bit larger than this piece, and that's on purpose. This is two and seven eighths, and what I did with this is I tore it down one side, and I decided that with the look I was going for, it would pay to tear it down on both sides, so I made it a little bit bigger, so it'd be pretty easy to do that. And all I'm doing is tearing this paper kind of back and forth towards myself, because when I tear it towards myself, you can see that it leaves a whitish edge, even though the back of it is green. As long as I tear it towards myself, I don't pick up any of that green. And I'm really tearing off like, I don't know, maybe a, a quarter of an inch. And I'm going to continue to tear that off all the way down my paper. And this is cut to fit all the way flush from top to bottom on my card front, five and a half inches. So now I'm going to turn it over and do that same thing on this side. This torn paper look was very um, 
much in style a couple of years ago. And then I haven't seen very many people. We don't have very many people that do the shabby chic kind of look. But this paper really looked to me like that's exactly what it called for. So my hope was that when I got done with this, this little piece of paper was still going to be bigger than that one that was on there. And it is. That's perfect. That is exactly what I was looking for. All right. Now, then I have some scratch paper here. I have some of my soft suede ink, and I have uh, my dauber, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to darken the edge of this torn edge so that it stands out a little bit more. And Get that edge a little bit darker around the ends to add to that shabby chic kind of look. Come all the way around my card and then along the top. And then I'm going to just, without re-inking, I'm just going to take this over the top of this paper and take that brightness down a bit. Okay, so there we go. Now we have that piece of paper done. Now, this piece of paper, my idea was to go on this edge here, just like I did with this one. And then you'll notice I'm using some of our copper trim and I can't tell you exactly how much I used because it's impossible to measure because <laughs> it shortens up when you start to pull it apart like this and so what I did was I just pulled apart ribbon left it on the spool so I'd make sure I had enough and I just pulled it apart because you can always stretch it back together a little and pull these ends apart from one another and I just love what this ribbon does so much fun and I hadn't used this on anything in a while and I did have the ribbon that came with the sweet but I don't know this one just appealed to me so when you get a little bit of it done what you can do is start to stretch it back and we need it to go along from the top to the bottom with enough um, to curl over the edge. So I'm going to stretch out another little piece here and that's plenty for me. And then I'm just going to snip that off and that is ready to go. Then for the inside, I need one to go across basically this length. So as long as I've got it out, I'm going to go ahead and prepare that piece of ribbon as well. Sometime I'm going to do this and tell you exactly and then pull it back together and see how much I needed to do this. But you need almost certainly half as much again, maybe two times what you need in the length when it's all pulled together. I'll figure that out at some point and I'll put it in a tip video. Okay, so... That needs to go across there and can be stretched a bit so that looks like that'll be plenty. We'll do one more stretch just for good measure and snip that off for the inside of our card. Okay, so that for the exterior of the card and this one for the interior of the card. All right, this piece is ready. Then this piece goes next. So it goes like this with this copper ribbon in between the two. So like this. And then we have our piece of um, soft suede. So I think the thing to do is to construct it from this side to this side. Because I can set my margin and set this piece down first. 
So I'm going to add some snail onto this piece and I'm going to have that go from top to bottom and I'm going to make the margin a little slimmer than I did on that one. Get that in place and get that put all the way down. There we go. Then this one is going to go on next and you can see I've got that run pretty close to the edge of this. Now these pieces are going to be very challenging to get glued up. So I'm going to use my silicone mat and set these pieces down. And I'm going to use my dot runner to add some glue along the edges. Okay. Now I'm going to have to put this one back together a little bit as I lay it down here. Okay, I'm sorry, I lost a little bit of, of film there. And so I've got this piece down on this end and it's I've added a little bit of glue under there and then my ribbon to this side and little dots of glue right up the center here so that I could grab my ribbon and set it into place with a little bit of glue to hold it, keep it from moving around too much. And you can adjust this as you go, which is wonderful. Um, and you can pull some of it a little bit tighter as well. And then I'm going to tuck this end underneath here to put that in place there. And I think I'm going to like that a bit better being um, a little bit closer to the flower than I did on that one. So, and again, this is all just manipulation. And once you get it in place, then you can move the ribbon around by stretching it apart and the glue will hold it mostly into place. Now then this piece is large enough now to go across here, leaving this edge that's kind of torn on this side without too much of a gap here. So I'm going to stretch this out at the bottom just a little bit more. There we go. And then I'm going to add my glue to the back of this piece right along that torn edge and put this piece into place with a tiny margin on this side going all the way from the top to all the way to the bottom of the card. And there we go. Now that feels right. And so now I've got my ribbon down. This isn't exactly tight down, but if, if this bothered you or you had a piece that was out a little too far, you could always tuck a little glue dot underneath any part of this edge. I think this one's going to stay down enough that I'm not going to worry about it. And I'm going to use my pokey tool to tuck those ribbon edges in underneath here. And I think that's going to be just fine. Now, I think the, the composition of that one looks quite a bit better than the one that we're looking at over here. The, it bothered me that there was so much space in between here and the flower. And this closed that gap, gave us a little bit more of the pattern of the, of the paper here as well. Okay, so now that part is done. So now we're going to concentrate on the inside of the card. And what's uh, interesting about these two stamp sets is that the floral stamp set, the ornate style, is a red rubber stamp. And the sentiment stamps on this one, which is ornate thanks, are photopolymers.
So um, let me show you what it is I did to do the inside of this. I bring back my scratch paper here and I used my soft suede ink again here and put some ink on that and captured this flower right down here in this corner. There we go. And then I took that other piece of ribbon and did that same kind of thing that they did on the front and that is stretch it across this part of the card. So I'm going to put some glue down there and then I'm going to use my dot runner and just put, let me put my silicone mat down here so I don't stick to everything, and just put little dashes of glue down here and that's where I'm going to put my ribbon. So I'm going to, I found that the best way to do that is sort of attach one end and get it, get it attached and then pull this along here until it's the place that I want it. Glue it down in the back and then as I push it down on the glue, little pieces of glue, then I can adjust my ribbon to whatever width I'd like to have it. And I think that looks pretty good. There we go, that's perfect. Now this piece can get put on the back and I'm gonna go right over, or try to, <laughs> put a little bit of glue on that ribbon. and put this piece into place on my soft suede piece for the inside. There we go. Very nice. All right. Now then this piece can go on the inside of here. And so I'll add some glue to the back of this piece and we're nearly done. I'm going to set that inside. There we go. And put that in place. And now we just have our sentiment left. Okay. Now, to do our sentiment, I have two pieces. I have this uh, piece of soft suede and this piece of very vanilla. Now, I did take my soft suede and, um, well, let's do the stamping first. The stamping I did in early espresso because I wanted it darker than the soft suede. So, we'll do that first. And what I did to start this was I took my punch and I stuck one end... <clears throat> in. If you just go in from one end and then come up, feed it all the way through, and then straighten it out as much as you can. There we go. And I'm going to cut that end off, and there I've got my banner end. Now, I'm going to do my stamping next on this piece. And I've got my stamp mounted here, and now I'm going to go into my early espresso, and I've got my You Made My Day. Let me straighten this piece of paper out a little bit. And go ahead and stamp this down right here. And because it's photopolymer, I can see where I'm putting it. So I should be able to get this straight, straight away. Oh, <laughs> and of course I didn't. So I'm going to stamp it again on the other side. Looks like I needed to come down just a hair.
There we go. You made my day. I still have my little banner end on here. And then what I'm going to do to get the banner end on the other, other side is I'm going to come in from this side and pull this up until I've got just about the same amount on this side as I do that side. And that way I can make this banner be any size I want. You just have to cut a piece, find out how wide it is, cut your strip, and then manipulate it back through the, the punch to get it the size that you want. So then uh, I used this to measure on here so that I could snip this off and have that be perfect to size. Now I am going to take a little bit of this um, um, soft suede and just go around the edges of my banner backing here, my mat piece, just to take down that very vanilla a little. When you've got this much dark going on, if something's that much lighter, it just looks positively bright. I think that's fine. And all I did was just go around the edges of this with my dauber. And I did use the soft suede ink rather than the early espresso. The only thing I used the early espresso for was the actual stamping of the sentiment itself. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and add some a snail to the back of my sentiment and attach it to my strip of vanilla here. And there we go. And then on this, I did add a couple of dimensionals and it looks like there's more dimension because of the flower cutouts and uh, the ribbon. Um, but this is really the only thing that's raised on this at all. And so I'm going to take my sentiment and then put it right up here. You made my day. And then I decided after trying, uh, another thing that comes with this sentiment package or this uh, suite are these gilded gems. Uh, and they're gold gilded gems. And they look like upside down sequins, but they're solid and, um, and they're adhesive backed and they're, they're quite substantial. They're, uh, they're a little on the thick side. And I, I put that down here and I could do that, but with the copper, what I decided to do was just use pearls. Remember pearls? <laughs> we haven't used them very much lately on projects, but I think they're perfect for this project. So I took some of the smaller pearls and put them in the daisies, in the cutout daisies here, in the center of the flowers. And I think that that adds just a nice touch um, to, the, to the card. There we go. And that card orientation is this way. So maybe I will add just a couple more of these pearls on the centers of a couple more flowers up top here. I only thought 
thought I had it. Okay, let's see. Well, maybe we won't even put it in the flower, but right along there. And now it looks like it needs another one. I ended up putting three almost in a row, and I didn't intend to do that. So I'll put one right up here. And there we go. That is our Shabby Chic or Ornate Garden card. So there's my first attempt at that um, suite. And I really am pleased with it. It's a very different looking card, but very pretty. And I love the idea that you can see through this to the back. And on many of those um, dies, you can do that. You can see through to the underside of the card. And I think that's very intriguing. Um, so uh, there we go. That's it for me today. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. I do so appreciate it. And if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator. Or you could join my team. Um, let's see, this is April. And my prize draw for the month of April is the Word Wishes Bundle. Uh, I think it's well said in the dies and... I can't remember what the stamp set is, uh, but I'll put it on the on the video for you so you can see it. And uh, that's it for me. I'll be back soon with more cards, more tips, and more projects. Bye.